Hello, my Sagittarius. Welcome to the Queen Prophetess channel, where I practice cardamancy. Boy, we're going to make this quick. The Spirit wanted us to have everything come out right away. Well, I, this is where I practice cardamancy and cardamancy. Now, I know my Sagittarians know what cardamancy is. I know y'all know. Because y'all be smart. Okay? Be Sagittarians. Cardamancy is, for those that may not know, which I know is a small percentage, Cardamancy is the art of practicing divination through playing cards. Today, I'll be doing a reading with the Cosmopolitan deck. This is a, a casino cards. This is um, of the authentic casino playing cards deck that I got from the Dollar Tree. Not any dollar store. Not family dollar. Dollar Tree. Okay? Not Dollar General. Dollar Tree. Okay? We're going to get your reading started. Now, I normally like to get the pop-ups, but because I haven't prayed yet, that didn't count. Okay? <laughs> I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. So, um, Sagittarius, let's start your reading off with a prayer. Holy Spirit, thank you. You're welcome into this place. Give me your word. I mean, give me a word for your Sagittarius. What is it that you want your Sagittarius to hear in this in this reading? Holy Spirit, speak through me. Use me. I yield my body as a vessel to you to speak to the Sagittarius. Thank you for your discernment and wisdom. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, now as I was praying, um, I had a few pop-ups. I'm going to make this very quick because I have to go make some money. And I know you Sagittarians love a quick, y'all don't, y'all not here for a long time, but a good time. So let's make this quick. Let's go ahead. Spirit is already popping out cards for you. Dang, boy, did you just to do the whole deck here? Okay, okay, okay. Holy Spirit, what do you have to say to our Sagittarians here? What is the word? What's the word, word, word? Word, bird is the word. Word, bird, bird. Bird is the word. What is it? What's the word for Sagittarian? What do you want to tell them? Okay, okay. Ooh, child. You got a lot of movement going on in your read so far. You're moved. You're making someone move. You're cutting somebody. You're removing. Okay. Hmm. Oh, wow. You got both the Queen of Clubs and the King of Clubs. Wow. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, Spirit. Give me three more cards. Pop them out. And I was saying before that I like um, pop outs. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You have the King, Queen, and the Jack of Clubs. Ooh. Something's really going on with your business or workplace. Ooh, ooh, okay. I like to do the pop-outs because I feel like that's the spirits that God really want to talk about. And oh my goodness, nothing. There's a lot of clubs. This is almost a whole thing. The topic in the center is about your workplace um, or your business. And your outcome is about business or your or your workplace here. Now it could mean that you also have uh, you could have a court case going on, but in my spirit, 
when it connects with the Holy Spirit, that is not what she's saying here. Okay? Something major is going on with your business, with your business, with your business. Okay? Yeah, it could be your workplace. Maybe uh, independent contractor situation. That is your business as well. But my spirit rings out. It talk, it's talking to those Sagittarians that have a business. Okay. Your topic is the Queen of Clubs, which represents uh, a working woman, a head of business. Or woman that is a boss. Uh, the energy of uh, woman or female energy. I'm just, I feel that this is a businesswoman in your read here. So we're going to be talking about the businesswoman. Whether it be you or someone in your life, but I really believe that this is a business woman. If you're not a woman as a gender, um, maybe you have an energy of a woman. And that's not a bad thing, because everyone, I believe, everyone has both male and female energies in them potential just one dominates over the other um so it could be a feminine energy if it is if you're not a woman now it could be that it's the woman in your lives men cisgender men this might be the woman in your life that's the business woman Oh, she is reigning strong. You got a royal flush here, child. <laughs> okay, and then you have the outcome as a five of spades. I mean, it's five of clubs, which is moving. This is this is moving. Something is changing. You're changing jobs. You're changing business partners. You're changing business plan or something. Um, you may be changing the business. The outcome is that the, the queen, I said the queen is, is reigning strong here. So she may come up and say, um, ditch that whole business idea. We're going in this direction. Okay. We're going in this direction. Okay. We're changing. We're, we're, we're changing the game. The business is pivoting. She's making a decision to pivot the business. The outcome is that the business is going to have to pivot from doing something to a, something else. So get ready to change, to move, to shift a little. To beat your competition because the five is a competition. It's competition too. You're reorganizing. The outcome is that you need to reorganize or pivot in order to stay in business. Because whatever that's going on, the royal family had to come. This is a major thing. Okay? So, let's look at the, 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 you have also the five of spades. Let's look at the other cards to get clarification on your topic and your outcome. And you have the five of spades here or above the queen of clubs. And the queen of clubs um, club is looking at the five, the trouble, ready to cut it out. Okay. 
he ready to, he looking right at it and say, he about ready to cut it out. It's like, with his knife, with his sword drawn, he's ready to cut out this trouble right now. And the five of spades represents ending something once and for all. <coughs> We've been doing business like this. <coughs> We've been doing business like this, and we need to end it right now. We, we can do better. The king is right there ready to handle the problem. Okay? <clears throat> is ready to handle the problem, child. Mm -hmm. <coughs> My throat chakra. Ooh. I've been doing readings all day. But I'm going to have to cut back, child. My throat chopper can't take it. Um. Yeah, so the king is right there ready to handle that problem. He's ready here to work. Okay. Um. So you also have the six of clubs. And the six of diamonds here, which is work responsibility. It's also business communications. It's funny, this also represents speaking for, for, for work, like your job is to speak. And it's funny, as I was moving on to the Six of Clubs, that um, my throat chakra started getting, my throat started to get dry. So, I feel like you, you have to speak for work. You, um, maybe you are a podcaster, maybe you're a radio personality. Sagittarius, maybe you're a comedian or something like that, and you have you're, you're learning to pivot in this new society here because the way you used to do business may not be able, you may not be able to do it, you know, or it's changed. You're doing more Zoom calls instead of live. Um, instead of live um, uh, um, pitches, you know what I'm saying? You may even work in cells, Sagittarius. Um, mm, let's move it on. Um, if you work for your job is to speak, yeah, yeah. This is definitely, you're going to have to change some things around so that and in doing something, you need to cut something out. If you speak for a business, you need to cut out some, some activities like maybe smoking or drinking a lot or um, um, eating uh, uh, mucus causing foods like cheese because it's not good for your throat. Maybe you're a motivational speaker or a preacher, Sagittarius. And you need to change something. You need to cut out some bad habits and reserve your voice. You might even sing for a business. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like it's a business, though maybe you, you have to talk more than you used to. Okay. Okay, okay. And then we also have the Six of Diamond here, which means financial responsibility. Um, maybe a small raise in pay. Maybe you're going to get a little bit more. You're worth a little bit more. You're getting a promotion, or you, you're you're getting more business coming in. Mm 
You may be receiving some counsel or seeking counsel with a friend, uh, 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 maybe a psychic, or you're, you're watching this channel right now seeking understanding, seeking counsel of where you should do. You know, what kind of, do I need to really make this change? Do I really have to cut out eating cheese? Yes. Sagittarius to preserve your voice yes don't drink coffee drink tea herbal tea water with lemon okay water with lemon will help with your vo voice and yes drink less Sagittarius drink less okay drink less my love so um but you may be seeking counsel that may be the reason why you have the whole royal council here you're seeking counsel on what you really need to do okay that's what I'm really feeling like this is here for you um You're finding a new source of income. This is what this Ace of Diamond represents. Or um, you, you, you're being refreshed. You have to pivot. And it's refreshing. For your business or your workplace. It's like, oh, okay, so I can't do that no more. Pivot. Sagittarius, y'all the best at this. Just pivot. Just pivot. Just pivot. Now let's look into what this ten of spades. Oh Lord, what is this challenge? You would think, oh, it's a challenge. Spades is a challenge here, um, but. It may not be that challenging. It may be actually an end of some challenges. But alas, it is not. <laughs> I'm sorry I lulled y'all into a false sense of security. But this, are you worried about something? Are you worried about this pivot? Are you sure? That's the reason why you're on this channel trying to figure out if you should pivot or not. Should you cut out this person or activity do I really need to do it yes you do you sitting up here worrying but you're seeking counsel stop worrying you know what you need to do do it Sagittarius don't be like your counterpart the Gemini with two different you know personalities just make the daggone decision and do it stop being Stop being undisciplined. Just do the thing. Okay, you know what you need to cut out. You know what you need to stop doing to preserve your voice for work. Do it. Oh, yeah, that was definitely, I could not I care less of what you do, but I felt the mother spirit say, if you don't get your stuff together, you sitting up here on this table trying to figure out to do what you know you need to do, Sagittarius. Cut it out. And start taking it more seriously. Taking your life more seriously, your job more seriously. This business more seriously. Okay. Now, that's what the ju the Jack of uh, Clubs is telling. This is what Mama's saying. Because the Jack is just expressing the thoughts of the Queen and the King. And they're both is like, get your stuff together. 
Papa over here saying like, cut it out or I'm going to do it. Cut it out or I'm going to do it. And the funniest thing is, oh, no, 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 no. The king, the king of clubs is... Is the king of clubs is the Leo, but the jack of clubs is the Sagittarius. So you're right here in in this reading, <laughs> and I just see like this mom and dad saying, "Get it together, Sagittarius. Okay, get yourself together." And once you pivot, you're gonna be refreshed. Trust, trust me. This is what your elders are saying to you. There may be a, a mother, father figure that comes in your life that is going to tell you this. You know, a father figure or a man that is um, A male friend of yours may, for women or your male friend is going to come to you and like, I mean, they care about you. They want you to get it together. But you sitting up here playing around. The outcome is that you are going to make the change. So, go ahead and make the change. Just concede. If you want to know if you need to make the change, yes, you do. And you will be fresh. It will feel good. It will feel good, and you'll like it. But the king and the queen is telling you, get your stuff together. Cut out this stuff so that you can go ahead and move on and grow as a business you can't, you can't sit up here and be playing around with your product and that your instrument is your voice. Okay? That's all I have for you, Sagittarius. You all have a wonderful week and I will see you next week for your weekly meeting here on the Queen Prophetess channel. Bye!